morning everybody. Happy Talk to Me Tuesday. This is going to be a short video just because I, I don't have a lot to show and I've also got some other things I want to work on and get finished so I'll make this quick. Um, I am not cut up on my there and back end block and tongue block. Um, I, I just, I guess I've just been really, really lazy, but I have done a little bit of paper piecing. I am, excuse me, I'm working on a wall hanging for my Harry Potter um, Yahoo craft group swap partner. Um, this month our swap theme is Goblet of Fire and so we've been emailing back and forth and um, I, I just decided that one of the things I'm going to make for her is going to be a small wall hanging um, with three panels to represent the three tasks in the tournament. Um, so, I am planning on doing a dragon block, a mermaid block, and a block to represent the maze. And I know there's a pattern for a maze on fandom and stitches, but um, I decided to do the Triwizard Cup pattern that um, that Open Gen designed, um, that it was also on fandom and stitches. Um, mainly because I like that block, but also because the most memorable part of that final task is the cup, which has been turned into a port key. So I made a Goblet of Fire block, and I'm pretty excited with how it turned out. I think it's very cute. Um, this fabric might look familiar to some of you. Um, this is the leafy fabric I used in one of my There and Back Again blocks. Um, I love this background. You can't really see it very well, but it almost looks like old parchment. And it's just perfect, and I wish I had more of it. Um, but I use most of it for this block. Um, and then the blue flame, the blue flames coming out of the goblet. I thought that was pretty cool. So there's that. And so yeah, so that'll be the bottom block in that um, wall hanging. And um, let's see, I am very close to being finished with Alia's Super Secret Fandom Drawing Prize. So I just have to put the finishing touches on that, and I will send that out, but I obviously can't show it yet. Um, but I'm looking forward to her getting that and seeing what she thinks. And, um, see, one last thing. I have been wanting to get back into knitting things other than scarves and, and rectangles for a while now. And, um, since Madison has been in her surgery and she's lost a lot of hair, um, I thought it would be nice to make her a hat, especially because it's starting to get colder. Um, and then when she goes back to school, I know she's going to feel self-conscious because she you know, is, is not going to, she just, she, her hair is going to be a lot thinner and she lost a lot here. Um, so I, I asked for some help on my live journal for some patterns for hats that were simple, um, but that could be cute. And, um, I was pointed to Ravelry, which I had completely forgotten about, and I found this pretty, really simple pattern, and I like it a lot. Um, ideally, I will one day um, learn how to use circular needles so that I don't have this seam running up the back, but otherwise it's pretty cute, and um, it's this little hat here, and uh, probably when she wears it, she'll have to turn the brim up just because her head is not as gigantic as mine. Um, I just, I love this yarn. I got it as um, part of a, a bundle of other yarns from a friend, from a Secret Santa gift um, back in undergrad. And I've just, I haven't used it for anything um, since then just because it was so pretty. I want to save it. And um, since she loves blue, teal's her favorite color, but it's such pretty blue. Um, I love these yarns that, um, that like, you know, change color on their own. It's perfect. Like, it just looks like I planned that, but I, I didn't. I just went with it. Um, so I really, really like these colors. I wish you could see them better um, in this video. Obviously, this theme is ugly. I wish that it wasn't there, but it's really not that bad. And, you know, nobody's going to notice it. Um, when I put it on, it's... <laughs> My head's pretty gigantic, so it looks kind of silly on me. But uh, it should fit her just fine. <laughs> Um, and it's a soft yarn, so that's nice. And so I'm hoping that I'll make some other hats like this. I'd like to make a set of preemie hats for the hospital, and maybe some chemo caps for kids like Madison who um, 
don't, not necessarily have had chemo, but um, who have lost hair and, um, you know, and could get a hat as well. So there's that, and I am very happy with it. And, um, yeah, so that is about all I have to show. Whew. Sorry. Um, I've been looking um, ahead to Christmas and trying to decide what I'm going to be making um, this year. And I always have big plans that I don't usually follow through with. Um, but I know that I want to make... Um, I wanted to make my sister a shawl. My sister is pregnant um, with her fourth child. And I wanted to make her a shawl, uh, but I also want to make her uh, a baby quilt. And, you know, by... I don't know, I would imagine that by like early November we should know whether it's going to be a girl or a boy. So um, for her, for Christmas, I'll probably either make her the baby blanket or the shawl. Um, and she, I mean, she'll get the baby quilt eventually, but yeah, whatever. Um, I have time for it. We'll see. Um, I have, I think, two friends that I want to make those tea cozy for, and I have some really cute um, fabric with teacups and teapots on them. So I'll be making a couple more of those. Um, I'll probably make a shawl for my aunt as well. I want to make um, a bag using the, um, I, you, you may have seen it on Phantom Stitches. There was a tutorial for like a kind of a messenger bag sort of thing with um, like a, a Hogwarts theme, the different houses, colors. Um, I was going to make a Hufflepuff version of that for my friend who is very much a Hufflepuff. Um, so that may be her gift. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I have crafts in the future that I am contemplating, and so we'll see how those go. Uh, otherwise, all is, is pretty much well. It's been a, you know, it's been a stressful, tiring couple of weeks, but such is to be expected this time of year and, and whatever. So, I hope that everyone is doing really well. I'm working and getting caught up on my TTMT viewing. So, if I haven't commented, it's not necessarily because I haven't watched, I just haven't don't know commenting yet, but you guys are great, and I look forward to your crafts this week. Hope you have a good Tuesday and a good rest of your week.